this week at Tom Liz. This week at Tom Liz. We need to work on that one. Anyway, what's been going on this week uh, in the shop? I've been working, so not a lot's been going on. I was off Tuesday from work though, and I had some stuff done. We'll talk about that in a minute. The truck is loaded up because I'm moving over my tools from my garage and my little table that I put the uh, tool kit on. Put my lipo storage stuff there is coming over. I'm moving that into here. That's what we're going to do in a minute. We're going to get all of that out. Going to move it in this area here. I don't know if you've been watching some of the updates. This is always going to be my sort of dirty work area. So going to get all my tools and I've got some um, bits and pieces down there as well, all to do with sort of bigger cars, welder, some oil stuff, bits and pieces there. Uh, I've got some work to do on the Hilux, so I thought rather than do it on my driveway, let's just bring all my stuff over here and just leave it over here permanently and I can get it fixed in the unit. Doesn't matter what the weather's like, although it is a nice day out there. It's a nice noisy day. It's Friday lunchtime. Everyone is going home and I'm still working. So let's unload the truck and then I'll show you my uh, new workbench. And then we'll get the door shut um, and we'll sort that area out over there. This is one of the reasons I wanted to pick up. Because <coughs> you just dump stuff in it. <laughs> you couldn't get all this in a car, could you? I made this table. <laughs> it's actually the first table I'd ever made. Uh, and that was about two or three years ago. I'd never made a table before. I think it turned out all right. Right, before we get my toolbox out, because that thing weighs a ton, let's move the table. Uh, I think I'm going to put it sort of in central over there, I think, because that rack is going to go there. Stumping out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time I was never that good. This thing is very heavy, so I need to go from there to there in one movement. I am a qualified manual handling instructor. Watch my form. <laughs> That's so heavy. Right, there we go. We got it into some kind of order. So this is now going to be, well, basically it's my garage that I've brought over here. I've got a bit more space. This is going to, I've decided to use this rack. This is going to be for all the uh, non-RC stuff. So all my bits and pieces there. Obviously not much on there at the moment, but I'm sure that will fill up very soon. Toolbox and stuff. Um, Hilux needs a service soon, so I've got all the, uh, all the service stuff there for an engine service. So I will make a video of that. I'm sure some of you would like to, uh, to see that. I'm actually a qualified car mechanic. I left school when I left school at 16. I've done an apprenticeship for, uh, I work for Rover and Subaru. So not only am I a YouTube superstar, I'm a qualified car mechanic as well. What I am not though is a carpenter. So that's why I got someone to put this workbench in for me. Done an awesome job. My instructions were basic, nothing too fancy, practical, and plenty of workspace. And not only did the guy do as I asked, he done more as well. The workbench we decided is gonna go from from that point there where the plug sockets are and then it's going to go around there around to about that point and then we're going to have some shelves just a little bit of shelving in there with the off cuts so after all the measurements and stuff and when they actually came to fit it uh, there was actually a little bit more leftover wood than first thoughts so that's a benefit to me because it didn't cost me any more and i've got pretty much twice the workspace that i initially was going to have so i've had to move my racking back a little bit but we've got, this is going to be the uh, sort of soldering area or soldering area. 
uh, tooling and bits and pieces here, a bit of storage under there. And then shelving under there, so a nice bit of storage. And then this is just gonna be uh, normal work stuff. So I'm gonna get, so I get some workbench uh, covers on there. So I'll cover all the top here. Picked these up the other day, really cheap. So I'll probably do a video of them. Um, but yeah, so this whole area here is gonna be for wrenching and projects. It means if I've got a project on the go, I can sit it on the side here and then I can go back over there to record other videos. Whereas before that, because I only had that one bench, every time I was in midway for a project, I had to pack it all away again and, and get it out when I was starting it. But anyway, and we've got full length shelving all the way along there as well. Loads of extra storage, perfect for what I want. And I know I keep going on about it and I've not done anything about it yet. It's because I'm waiting. I was waiting for everything to be done. That's gonna get moved. Uh, we're gonna get that out of the way shortly. And then I'm gonna order the carpet and then start measuring up to put a little, te well, I say temporary track. I'm gonna have to roll it up and put it down when I wanna use it, because I don't wanna get, the, I don't wanna get it dirty in this area if I'm doing any work. So, so a carpet track that can get put down uh, when needed, and that'll give us options for drifting, some little rally cars, etc., etc. And then, next job on the list is to get all that stuff away. There's new stuff, old stuff. And that's kind of not what I said this week at Tomley's, it's like, that's kind of, we're talking about the future rather than what's happened. Not much has happened this week because I've been working. So that was fitted on Tuesday. Then I had to come back and do some, uh, got a little bit left on Thursday to do that. I've got this thing that I'm currently reviewing, taking it out tomorrow. That's coming up soon. That thing looks really nice. Got a load of Trill stuff to fit on the SCX24. That's the next video in line. Also got some goodies for my low center gravity crawler that I'm building. Stealth X gearbox, some carbon fiber wheels. And the Capra is donating its parts for that build. Anyway, that's it for this week at Tomlin's. We do need to work on that. My idea for that came from, if anyone watches Yanomai's, um, they do a Tway, which is this week at Yanomai's. So I thought this week at Tomlin's, then I thought this week at Tomlin's shop, that still doesn't work. Um, <laughs> we'll go with it. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys. I will see you next time.